Hey there, Matt Petrowski here for Confident Builder. We always want to be a confident builder. In this video, we're taking a look at shadows and solar north. How do we find out what our solar gain is on our house? Let's head over to my desktop, take a look. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me on my desktop. What we have here is the model that I'm working on, the house that I'm designing. As I rotate this here, I'm gonna rotate this so that we can see. If you saw one of my previous videos, which I talked about getting your plot into SketchUp, I'll leave the link either up below or to be at the end of this video or down in the description somewhere. We can see that I've got my north right here which is telling me the direction of my plot in relation to the model. Now, as I turn on the axes right here, I'm going to go to the view menu and I happen to have my axes turned off. It's very important when we design in SketchUp, especially a house, that we design with the default standard axes because you can't change the global axes. So what you do is you design your house with the correct axes, the correct, uh, you know, X, Y, and Z, and then you orient your plot underneath the house. Or when you're doing your site design, you want to design on those straight axes, but then you move what's underneath, you orient that relative to the design, or at least that's what I did. Uh, if you're an architect, then you've got other better ways in SketchUp, please um, let me know. Um, tell me about it. But what we're interested in here is we're interested in our shadows. Once we've got our north, we are interested in this little plugin, this guy right here, which is called Solar North. Now it's a free plugin. We simply just go up to the extensions warehouse right here. We click, we uh, type in Solar North, and we're gonna get that come up. We make the first selection and it's gonna come up and then you're gonna be able to install that right there. You just click on it. It'll tell you information about it and give you the ability to install that and be able to use it. Once that's installed, you have this little widget right here, and there's two icons, roughly one that shows you where Solar North is, and then the other one to set it. So here, this is going to display North, this is going to set North. So when I turn this on, we can see that as I zoom out of my model, this has the right north. And when I put my plot into this, all I had to do was use my little north indicator if I was going to set it. So I'd select on the set, and then it doesn't matter where you select from on any line anywhere on your model. I just zoomed in right down here on my north, and I said, this is my north, and it's right there. And then that puts everything right there in order. So now I can use the shadows setting, which if you haven't tried it yet, you're going to find that under window, and it's gonna be right here, at least on the Macintosh, you're looking for shadows, or if you're on a PC, you're simply going to find shadows. And then with shadows, all you have to remember for your home is you need to remember if you have daylight time savings. If you are in a time zone which does not require that, then we don't really worry about it. But my biggest concern was, given the setting of my home, I wanted to make sure that this big window that I have in the back here that I have plans for was not just going to be this massive heat sink. And that was very important to me. So what I needed to do, I'm in the East Coast of the US, I needed to find out what settings I need during summer. Now in the East Coast, we have Eastern Standard Time and Eastern Daylight Time because we do that whole hour shifting thing in the US. If you don't shift an hour, then great, but you have to figure out when it switches. And I think in the US it's March and November. So anywhere in the summer months, which is when you're usually concerned about solar gain, which as I turn on my shadows, and I move things around here, which is going to be a little bit more jumpy because uh, whenever you turn your shadows on, that's going to increase the needs of your graphics card. But here at UTC, I switch between UTC 4 and 5. So that's the East Coast. If you're West Coast, then it's probably 6 and 7 or what have you. Or if you're somewhere else in the world, whatever your time zone is, you need to make sure and get it correct for your shadows. So for the summer months in the East Coast, um, I'm able to simply say I've got uh, January, uh, July, uh, you know, June, July, and August are my summer months, and I can actually see where my shadows are going to hit throughout the day. So as I move them, 
And uh, SketchUp takes a little while to render, but if I go to, you know, somewhere around 11 o'clock, I'm pretty much safe. This window isn't going to hit. If I move up to 1 o'clock, I can see the shadows are creeping right here. Uh, the, the sun is coming more directly over the top. And then as I move here, I really don't start to get sun into these windows because I've extended my overhang right here at all. I mean, you can see a little bit of a little bit of sun coming in there through a different window, but all the way up at five o'clock in the evening in the months of June, July, and August. And I can just switch between these and see what happens with the shadows. And I can see that even there in August, there's the maximum amount, amount of solar gain that I'm going to get on these windows in the summer month, which I don't want those actually showing up. So that is an awesome thing. That's exactly what I want to have happen. Sorry about that alarm right there. But this is how you work with your Solar North plugin in order to play with shadows and make sure that as you're designing and putting windows and those things that you either do want them to get uh, solar gain in the winter months or you don't want them to have the solar gain in the summer months, this is exactly how you do it. You got your plot in, you got your north correct, you got your plot situated correctly in terms of the direction that everything happens and then you just play with the shadows and it's a really cool thing so i hope this has helped you out become more of a confident builder and i'll see you in the next video